the freakiest story I ever heard when you said that you were looking up a customer's address on Google Maps so that you could figure out how to get there. And the Google Maps image of the house had our truck in front of the house. Yeah. Believe it or not, you know, that's not the first time that's happened. Morning, Dad. Good morning. Clearly the weather has hit and gotten warmer in this country because mm -hmm. we have gotten inundated. And I sent you a whole slew mm -hmm. of questions about air conditioners. And you were like, you yep. know what? They they all kind of look similar. They're different yet similar They're asking the same thing and so I thought it would be interesting to talk about that today so let me give everybody an example of what we're talking about here our AC outside fan is not blowing our outside fan is not blowing but it's blowing air inside can't keep up with the temperature here's another one the air conditioner turns on blows cool air but barely any comes out through the vents and it's very hot in our house Another one, the temperature keeps going up, air is barely coming out of the vents. Another one, <laughs> air conditioner is just blowing kind of warmish air, but it's running. So just stuff like that. What was kind of your first reaction when I sent you this whole list of like, oh my goodness, look at all of these different air conditioner problems. Yeah, well, <laughs> there was kind of a general tone there that I don't think it's cooling well enough. You know, I, I don't mm -hmm. think. So. so one quick check, something that uh, would be good for homeowners to know would be uh, if you've got got a good reliable thermometer you know like one of these quick especially one of these quick reaction barbecue thermometers or something like that you know it okay. doesn't have to be a quick read but but something that you know is pretty accurate let's check what we call the temperature drop across the the cooling coil in your system and we can do that real easily with just a, a kitchen thermometer let's go and measure the return air or the average temperature of the air that's in the house right now so if you've got a return air grill you know it's you typically up high on the wall in in this area just hold it up there for a, a, a 30 seconds to a minute and just get a good reading of what is the temperature of the air that the air conditioning system is drawing in write that down on a on a piece of paper somewhere make note of that and then go to a supply register one that is blowing what you're calling cool air and check that temperature you should see a temperature drop of 15 to 20 degrees that's a that's a pretty general could be a little bit more could be a little bit less but depending on other conditions you know humidity and things like that but that's pretty that's very general where is the supply air that's something that's blowing the cool air that's your supply air Typically, but you just put that in like a register a floor yeah. register just, okay. right at, just right at the register okay and uh, just see how close to the 15 to 20 degree mark you are if it's dramatically less than that or even dramatically more than that there's other issues you know we really need need to look at things if it's in that range let it let it work for a while because many times you know when we first turn on an air conditioner you don't realize how warm everything is you know cooling the air in the home is really easy. Give it a few minutes and we could cool the volume of air that's in your home. However, when your home gets warm, everything is warm. Your couch cushions, your carpeting, the draperies, the bed linens, everything is warm. And so there's many times we'll turn on, get a fix an air conditioner and we've got a hot house or a warm house. And I'll tell them it's going to run nonstop till the 10 o'clock news comes on tonight. And by tomorrow morning, you should hear it cycling off. You know, it's, it takes that long. So it's not, it's not an immediate thing. Which Basically, that, that you, would make sense if this is kind of a lot of people's first time turning on their air conditioner. Mm -hmm. Maybe they just let their house get super hot. Right. And now they're also really keyed into their air conditioner because they haven't been running it. So they're like, right. I don't think it's working. You know, Believe it or not, they're making is. sure all the windows are closed. You know, I've yeah. seen that, you know, and storm windows are closed. If you've got a unit that's operating in that range, give it time. It's probably going to, it's probably going to be okay. I had another one ask about their air conditioner unit fan is just not coming on at all. What mm -hmm. would you say to that? So that's about how much information I had on the, the family air conditioner I went and worked on at the, yeah. <laughs> at the lake. You know, the AC fan not coming on. So the unit outside, I'm assuming that that's the outdoor unit is not coming on. I'll give you two things to check just to kind of hopefully find a problem, you know. But the first one is have someone outside by the air conditioner and have a second person just turn on the thermostat and, and turn it to a cool setting so it calls it's calling for the air conditioner to be on. Most air conditioners, you should hear a very distinct click. 
outside. You'll hear a very distinct click. That tells me, if you do hear that, that tells me that, gee, the thermostat's working, the control wiring is all okay. It's telling the unit to run, but it's not. If that's the case, I want to check my breaker inside and we've we've done i'll leave a link to a, the breaker video below on how to check breaker, that how, how to know if there was a uh, tripped breaker or not because it's a very subtle indication most breaker manufacturers for the most part the tell is very subtle on the breaker as far as whether it's tripped or not and so you want to find that breaker and one go ahead and turn it off and do a very firm off of the the breaker you're actually resetting a break a trip breaker when you do that and then you turn it back over into the on position but typically uh, what you're describing there is no power outside it sounds like if you've got that distinct click and the unit is still not running odds are it's a, a trip breaker and so you want to go check that all right thanks dad all things furnaces and air conditioners are a big part of my life i always caution our technicians you know that does it's no big deal but to other people it's a total mystery how does this thing work there's a system in the home that is a complicated system there's a lot of things that can affect how well it's cooling or not when you're a part of a maintenance program you know you've had somebody go through and do all the routine things that you really need to do that and it all affects how the air conditioner is going to